All right, so welcome back. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, hopefully, again, everything's been going well with your uh, your Nikkei launch. Hopefully, that's been fun. I have sat here and re-rolled a lot of times, but I think I got my good account. So with this account, it's the farthest I've progressed actually in the game. I'm now at 4.6, which isn't even that far for the time I'm recording. I should be farther, which again, I'm getting into it. Um, there's a lot of building that you need to do, right? And you will hit roadblocks. It's account I've encountered some of them where I didn't level up a character enough. I didn't equip gear. There's a few things that I have in this video that I want to make sure um, you're aware of mistakes not to make and stuff that you want to kind of know from, you know, experience. With that, we'll jump into it here today, talk about it, give you a quick breakdown of everything, some beginner tips, and again, things not to make a mistake on. Let's let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, you subscribe. Let's have some fun with it. First thing, real quick, this is again, this is advice not for everyone, but I want to make sure that this is kind of uh, kind of aware for a lot of players. If you are buying, okay, if you're buying anything from the game, realize that there's two sets of currencies, okay? This is one currency, this is gem, but it's not that it's just a gem. There is a second currency, and the currency is super stupid how they kind of labeled it, where it's it's a little bit hard to like tell the difference. So here they're called charged gems, where it just has a charge icon there. It's still a gem, but it's just charge, right? Now, you can't earn these. You can only buy these, but in some of the bundles, they're like, you know, for purchase, but it doesn't even explicitly tell you if it's charged gems or not, and it doesn't tell you which one's for what. Let me show it to you. So first, if you are wailing and you're like, you know what, I like this $100 version, I like this game a lot, or $80 version rather, I like the game, I wanna go and do this, realize that yes, you are buying 6,200 gems, that's it. That is the only amount you can use on premium stuff, which is again, 6,200. You can see the charge icon here. This is not part of it, all right? You'll get this, yes, but that is the regular currency that you can only use on certain things. For example, the regular banner, just keep that in mind, all right? In the future, we don't know how they're gonna do banners and if they're gonna be charged gems or what they're for. Just realize now that this is two different currencies. This is the premium currency, this is the regular currency, right? In a lot of packs in the shop, a lot of areas when you buy gems, for example here, daily reward is 100 of these, right? But if you're purchasing it, you're getting 330 of these. The thing is, this is not the premium currency. This is not the charge gems. This is regular gems, okay? So learn this and just know the difference between the two. Again, if you go back to the main area, there might be banners in the future that only fall off of the regular currency. For example, this banner will fall off of this currency, hence why it's there. This one I have zero because I haven't whaled or done anything like that. This banner again has charge. I don't know the future how they're going to do it, but if you are buying stuff, realize they're two separate currencies. Just keep that in mind. Second thing that I wanted to go over, go into the shop area, right? The regular shop, not the uh, the cash shop. And in it, you can actually go and buy some things here that give you a boost in the game. Now, again, if you are free to play, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend to buy stuff with gems. But there are some good deals here, right? So, for example, this on sale, six gems for that. Again, I wouldn't buy that. But this is regular, right? This is free. So first, grab this every single day. The price is zero, so just literally hit buy, and you'll get free credits. This, if you need, you know, battle data set, I believe it, again, every single day it resets so you have more of this. 280K is a good amount. You can see that I only own, you know, uh, 20 or 2300 here. Again, there are these things in the shop that you guys can go and pick up every single day do it if you kind of need it. The rest of the shop basically isn't too important. Um, and again, a quick tip here, if you are buying these things, they don't actually give you the character. It's just for upgrading the character, right? It's a spare thing for limit breaking, not like a different game where they do, you know, dupes. And if you have that dupe, you can craft the character. That's not how it works. In this game, it's basically like that, right? So you have to get those and that just ups the character. In this area, if it's the, uh, this is the, you can use body labels to purchase items. You can purchase this, which has a chance at giving you a, um, a SSR Nikkei. So keep that in mind if you want to go and grind towards these. Basic stuff, but just that's how the shop function works, right? And again, as soon as you possibly can, join the active union and start earning that credit so you can start buying some of these, you know, important things. Just keep that in mind that again, while you're progressing, and this leads me to my next point, try your best to progress through story as soon as possible. And again, don't like skip the story. It's actually a good story, right? So you'll enjoy it. I'm genuinely saying you will. And again, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit, uh, what's, there's a word for it, you know? It's a fun story. It's a, it's a, it's a quirky story, um, and it's got some jokes in there you'll definitely enjoy. So again, I recommend that you listen to everything, have fun with it. But again, leading to the next point, as mentioned, yes, do as the story as much as you can because there are rewards here that, first off, will help you progress, first off, again, as you get this stuff, which helps me level up a character. Credits helps me out. All this stuff helps me out. There's a lot of things that you have. And again, check your challenge area and main area and claim them accordingly. For example, if I claim all here, I'm going to get a crap ton of stuff here. And again, if I, I already claimed it before because I needed to level up my characters. There's battles the uh, data set in here. There's so much stuff to help you. Um, so again, continuously check what's here and see if you can do a challenge, right? For example, like um, 
if you can go back here and do these friendship points and then get more of this if you need a battle data set do that accordingly and again as always do your weeklies check what's here if it's something that can help you out right now you do that again do your dailies as mentioned also basic stuff but again look through the game and see where the actual rewards are so that if you are you know kind of hitting a wall that will give you a little bit of a boost to like jump over that wall progress yes and again in this little i guess you could say hidden tab not really but if you go to the day by day event you can also claim whatever you've done um for example here on day one if i did clear floor uh 10 on the uh, tribe tower i get a free summon over here which is not bad and again if i do the rest of this stuff i get a lot of actual uh materials so again keep an eye on this do these as they unlock and see how far you can get a lot of it is a little bit harder and it will take you some time for example this is not that hard but it will give me some resources so get it like into this jump into it and just check the day by day event and see if you actually unlocked anything and it can help you next again with the outpost this is something that people are saying that's also really complex but it's like super kind of simple first off go over here this is your bulletin board claim your rewards and then dispatch for the day that's again very basic stuff you always want to do this at the end of the day when you know things are basically done and again the reset dispatch is this i think that the time for reset is like in the middle of the night for me i'll check the exact timing i'll try to pin it down below um but again if everybody knows the est or pst time of when the reset actually happens but again Keep an eye on your bulletin board. Keep an eye on all, uh, everything over here. I um, mean, also go over here to the main area um, and enter this, and you can go and advise your um, your Nikkei's that give you bonus um, stats and stuff like that. But again, if you go in here, and I think you go to advise right down here, um, when you pick whichever character you want, let's say I picked um, I picked Rappy, right? So with her, I can go and then just hit gift like this and then i can go into this and then i'll get a rank up um, and if i do get that actual rank up i do unlock more stats for her um, so if you want to go and do this you have three per day i'm um, pushing to four if you continue onwards uh, but again do it just get it done there's extra rewards and extra stats not that bad also remember the tip that's been going out is like a save these up if you want to my thing is all right so i've currently saved up right but i'm most likely going to go and summon because there are things that are also kind of ruining you if you aren't summoning for example you need over here on this um this entire thing you need this blue character if i have this blue character i am then able to actually study this and unlock things so unlock three building slots you're able to get what increased credit acquisition requirement by 10 percent you're able to go and do this increase the combat portrait requirement by 10 percent and then again each thing kind of has a buff here so again make sure you check out the academy and then if i hit take required you know lessons i can't do it until i have this nikkei so if i get the nikkei i can then do it and unlock stuff so there's a lot in this that you should be taking a look into um and unlocking so that you can do it again if you've summoned a lot and you actually have that nikkei then boom you're good to go if you don't you can't get it and you're missing out on like stats that can definitely help you and progress you further into the game remember this is a basic idle game right you need this stuff you need the mats you need all of it because again whales will exist and with this game specifically and other gacha games like this they're going to make fast progress because there are bundles that will push them so much forward there's a limit there's a finite amount you can get per day right that's always how it works for whales though there is no finite limit they can go over here um or not into here into the cash shop right and they can go and just whale out on anything they kind of want and again it'll push them forward for example if you get like um some summons here uh, i saw a bundle that was yeah so like this right i'm getting so much freaking um credits again right here like the battle data set right so if you need this right you'll go and put the five dollars in you'll jump ahead so much more stuff like this will push people ahead uh, but again you don't need to spend on it obviously just continue grinding checking everything and again with the entire idea of the arc as i think a lot of people have said this and i think you know this always do your interceptions at the end of the day because you want to go and unlock the most potential out of it right you have to do this right and you have to actually get the highest dps um, or highest damage possible and if you do that you get the highest amount of rewards so you'll get stuff like this which gives you more gear get stuff like this um again and you do get stuff like this so highly recommend do this at the end of the day as basic stuff as that before you go to bed before you stop playing for the day that's when you jump into this again tribe tower you're gonna jump in um reach the highest you can simulation room doesn't really have a time gated thing and again as i unlock you know lost sector i'll have to like accordingly do that too so they all have their different aspects for them so just keep that in mind when you are doing them and also keep in mind just so you know this this is again a quick tip and this will help you a lot right let's say i built diesel here and i regret it i i i'm mad at myself for actually building diesel i shouldn't have done it i am now depressed i did i like i'm gonna think in my head i just wasted all those mats no you didn't you can literally click reset level here and people are also saying i've seen this a lot i've seen a lot of people saying this that it's not worth it do not do not put like the credits into it or the gems into it to reset it's 10 it is 10 go do it all right the amount of grinding you'll save yourself from having to get all this back like 293 of this that is a resource that is very hard to obtain okay 
If you can reset and you want to reset, you do it. You won't lose anything. It's not like you're losing out on any material. It's like, oh, we're taking a 10% tax because you reset. No, it's the same amount you're going to get back. Um, so again, you can take it off this character, put it onto a different character by spending the 10 gems. Yes, I would do it if I want to go and build a different character. If I pull somebody better, I most likely will do it to one of my characters where I remove it. But again, it's fully up to you. Just saying that is an option. So don't just sit there, you know, re-grinding everything or trying to use other materials. Get it from here, reset it if a character you don't care for anymore, and put that on a new character. Super simple. And again, as soon as possible, as soon as you can, make sure that you add a bunch of people. Get a bunch of people online um, and do that. So that if you go over here to the recruit tab, you can actually go and summon. Um, so just keep that in mind that, look at that, I, I have 20 already. I can do two singles here and potentially get a Nikkei. So highly recommend that's the first thing you do. Check it out. Again, just go and add friends and then just send and receive and boom, you're done. And again, as mentioned, before you actually claim or wipe out or do anything here, just remember that, you know, also I'll mention that in a second here. Make sure to, as I said earlier, progress as far as you can into everything and then choose the wipeout. You will get more and more materials the farther you are in the story. And again, it's a big tip I mentioned earlier. Try your best to see how far you till like till you hit the wall of you know I can't do any more. That's when you stop playing, right? That's when you decide. All right, I now I need to go and level up these characters and do everything here. Don't be like you know what I'll just hit like a wall here at four one and then I'll decide what to do with the game. Check out the other stuff. Go as far as you can till you're at a point you're like you know what I can't do anything here. Again, you're not losing stamina or anything like that. So progress, hit that wall, and then go and complete everything. Grab all the resources you can. Then go back and level up your characters and see if you can take on that stage. And again, realize when you do go into a stage and you turn off auto, it will actually help you. I'll show you in this like stage right here. Um, I haven't beat it yet, but I think it's a super simple stage. Just I have to level up my Nikkei's to actually go and do it. But with it, right? If I go to this one here, yeah? Um, and I turn on auto, they're going to get shredded. There's a, there's a mechanic in this where they launch missiles constantly at you. And if they're doing that, like where they launch missiles at you, you can't duck. The AI is like, you know what? I'm going to just go and point and shoot while that's happening. They won't target the proper things. Because again, auto is garbage in comparison to what manual is. You thinking for yourself and being able to adapt to what's happening. That's the point, right? So again, in this, you can see I just, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have peaked. I was, I was focusing up. Now, yeah, so... They're going to start shooting out like rockets out of the back of his uh, his back here. And you have to take out these missiles as they're coming to you. Otherwise, you're going to take damage like that. If I left the AI on, they're not doing this type of stuff. You'll just keep dying. You'll keep ruining everything. For example, they're not aiming at that when they're supposed to be aiming at that, right? And now I'm going to take the damage for it, I think. Oh, I did it. All right. I did it in time. But if I didn't do that, the AI is not smart enough to know that. So in some stages, you're hitting a block, but it's not really because of your characters. It's because of the manual uh, or the auto on just ruining everything, right? For example here, you didn't have to take damage. Um, instead, she just took damage because she poked out right at that point. So keep in mind right there, they were literally not shooting at the missiles um, that were like getting shot at them. Right here, they wouldn't shoot at this unless a manual player is actually doing it. So just again, when you are taking care of this stuff, um, realize that I will finish this later. But again, you're not losing stamina. So try every stage. See how far you can make it. I'm going to have fun with it. I got to fix my team here. It's not a good team. Calm down. Don't roast me on team building. I know what I'm doing. I'm also playing uh, for waifu meta. That's a, that's a meta. I designed it. Waifu meta it is, right? We're going for <laughs> waifu characters only. But yes, that's what I want to talk about here today. Continue on with the story. Have fun. The game is super good. So don't like skip the story just to like, get fast progression. Enjoy it, right? There's a finite amount of resources. There's a finite amount of the game, the story. Enjoy with what you got. Take care of it. Have fun with it. Uh, but again, really fun. I've enjoyed my, uh, my first few hours of the game. Plus, I think I've been playing for like six hours, seven hours now. I just check another character, just looking at everything. Um, pause. But yeah, that's been it. Thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy. Catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. That's been it for me.